Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy. And uh, here I have uh, an Armstrong class, a Newton class, and two Proxima refits. And I'll be using these ships in all eras at Sigma City to battle against uh, the Romulans with our 30,000 command points that we had. And the reason I'm doing this is because one of you guys asked for me to tell you guys what the controls are for the game, but not like the ones that are in uh, the manual, because sometimes the manual is wrong. So I'm going to tell you guys what controls I use, and uh, hopefully uh, this clears some things up. So first of all, uh, 1 through 5 are your ships, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 selects all of them. And this is very important when you want to warp, because... You can select 1 through 4, but you can't select all 5 while you're in this menu. So you want to go out, select all 5, and then click your warp, which is right click, and left click on the map is to impulse. Um, oh, there's a galaxy class. Moving on to the next thing. Um, left click is to fire phasers, right click is to fire torpedoes, and those little red triangles mean that your torpedoes are locking on. The closer they are, and if they spin, well, first of all, the closer they are, the more likely it is that uh, they will lock on. And if they're spinning, that means they will definitely lock on, so that's always good. Um, holding down R lets you repair things, self-destruct, and try your long-range sensors out. It also, on Klingon ships and Romulan ships, allows you to cloak, and on the Defiant class, the Defiant class has a cloak. Um, let me see, uh, hitting E lets you direct energy to whatever you want, so I'm going to put that in the middle. And um, apparently you're supposed to be able to lock on to enemy subsystems, but I don't know the button for that because I've tried it. I don't know what it says in the manual anymore, but I've tried that button. It doesn't work. I don't know how to do it. Uh, if um, you want to engage a tractor beam on something, you just look at it, hold down F, and usually there's a tractor beam button here. But you only use that, really. Um, if uh, their shields are down and if their engines are down. So if you have an enemy whose shields and engines are down, you can do that. Or if you have a friendly uh, whose shields and engines are down, you can grab onto them and tug them away from the battle. Although I do recommend you just fix the engines because it's probably quicker. It's probably quicker and safer. So, um, what's the next thing? Oh, so... Q lets you warp and come out of warp. Let me just prepare this. Kind of. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Uh, scrolling lets you move. So scroll forward lets you uh, go forward to full speed. And scrolling back, that's, uh, well, it makes, it makes you stop. There's no reverse, and we are, oh my gosh, they have a. To dare to. Blah, blah. I cannot speak. That is fine, though. Uh, they have a to dare to class ship. So I was not actually expecting that here. I mean, I guess it is next generation, so I guess I could kind of expect it, but I just I wasn't prepared. I was not prepared to face it. Okay. Um. What other keys are there? Uh, w. Is you tilt down. S is you tilt up. A is left, and uh, D is right. The last keys. So that's how you move your ship around. Um, I, I really don't think there's really all that much to it. Oh, and a tab is for your map. So I don't know if I mentioned that, but that's that's what it is. Come on, everyone, let's target this wherever you are. I think, like, T is supposed to be like, you're able to target uh, their subsystems, but it does not work for me. Come on. Let's take this guy out. Quickly. Maybe. Oh, my shield's down. Didn't even notice that. Oops. Come on, guys. I really like the Proxima refits, because they look they look like they could be from this mod. They look very um, futuristic. Although, I mean, they also look kind of like the Constitution refits, so I guess that's kind of... It kind of proves they aren't from this mod. But still, I mean, look at that. They look so... They look almost like they're from the same thing. I mean, they're all Federation ships, but I mean, the Proxima refits and these ships look very similar to me. 
I, I don't know why. It's just it's just something about him. All right, let's open fire. Now, the closer you are to an enemy, the more powerful your phasers are. So that's one thing you have to remember. Try to always fire phasers. Blech. Try to always fire your phasers at close range. Now, for some reason, uh, I am finding it difficult to speak. Now, that might be because I still have a cold, but it might just be because I'm just I'm just stupid. That always could be a reason. Come on, get get their shields down. I, I'm not waiting long enough for my weapons to recharge. That's the real problem. Okay, I'm tired of using this ship. Let's use something that works. Alright, this guy still has the majority of his torpedoes, and, uh, probably is a decent re- yeah, pretty decent recharge rate on the phasers, kind of. There we go. Now this Duran, not Duran, this, this Griffin class that the Romulans have, it's so different from their other Romulan ships. Don't know why it exists, it just looks so strange to me. Come on, none of those locked on? Lame. Okay, come on. And there we go. Now, if I were to fire at least one of those, yeah, would lock on. Because those um, triangles, triangles were pretty close together. Alright, going to open fire right now. And with a photon, because why not? It'll help. There we go. I think we have won. Yes, I am victorious. We can warp away into the sunset. Although the sunset's actually... There's no sun. That's sad. Okay. Uh, I got four kills. Only lost one ship. Our allies got 14 kills, so they did the majority of the work there. And they lost no ships, but our enemies lost every single ship that they had. So we were definitely the victors of that battle. That took just under seven minutes for us to win. If you guys enjoyed this action-packed battle against the Romulan forces, and if you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on all the little fun buttons that I use, and if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, if you guys did not like this video, I do apologize for that. Please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is I can do to improve the next videos that I make so that hopefully you guys can enjoy them. And as always, if you guys want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section regarding that. I will uh, read those and I will try to use those ideas in my future videos. So, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta and I will see you next time.